All right, YouTube, I'm coming back to you with another, well, hopefully a video that will make things a lot easier for you guys out there that are having the same trouble that we were. I'm going to try to help you out. So what's happening is uh, we have got a, uh, what you call a Freedom Pop, uh, right here, it's a company called Freedom Pop, a SIM card that you can use to put in uh, different devices or like your cell phone or whatever, and you pay a monthly plan for it. Well. We've had it for a while, and we've had it in what we call a Rio Link, a Rio Link Go camera. This is a pretty cool camera. You can, and if you're on this video, you probably already know this, but you can use this camera anywhere in the world, and it's powered by a uh, solar panel. Well, we've had this thing going for a long time. Back in the day when we first got it, you just take the SIM card and you put in it. You know, they send you a SIM card from FreedomPop.com. And you just pop it in there, you open it up, boom, you're done. No problem. You know, everything was good to go. Well, all of a sudden, uh, let me flip you back around. All of a sudden here back a few months ago, it just quit working. And we, you know, we, I got on Freedom Pop's website and it came up saying something. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get on here and show you. It's probably still saying it. FreedomPop.com. They changed something on their end, basically. I'm going to log into my account here. Log in. Sign in and it comes up saying this you're almost there step two enter your new premium uh your new premium voice sim card so i did it everything worked uh good you know I, I was told that you had to take the sim card out put it in a phone uh configure the apn settings they give you all the stuff on their website boom you're done and i did that and we made a phone call with the phone and we had data with the phone so i took it out put it in the uh, Rio link go didn't work it just comes up saying you know searching for network network failed so i said oh my god so anyways i got freedom pop to send me another sim card we've been paying for service for right at three months and we have yet to be able to use a the camera they send me another sim card and uh take the sim card make sure nobody pull it. take the sim card and put it in nothing so i'm coming to this video to show you what i did to make this thing work there was really no I guess instructions on what to do but I'm gonna guide you through what to do so if you have this happen and you have AT&T that's who we have is uh, our, our freedom pop cars through AT&T what you have to do is configure the cameras APN settings so that it knows how to communicate with the network and I figured that out on my own so I'm gonna make you a video real quick and just kind of guide you through what you need to do uh, but uh, without further ado let me show you what I had to do get on your computer and open up notepad all right once you get notepad opened up you're going to want to create a file well okay let's just go back rewind open your the back of your camera here and there is an sd card on the inside you want to take that sd card and you want to put it in one of your little adapters and you want to put it in your computer so that you can write on it well, when I pull the SD card up, I don't want to do it because I don't want to mess anything up because I just got this thing working. But anyways, uh, when I pulled the SD card up, uh, it had a bunch of MP4 files on there where it had been recording all the videos and stuff. Just delete every one of those, all the MP4s, but leave the last two like they were like text files or something. You know, anything you can tell that wasn't obviously a recording, leave it. All right, so then what you're going to want to do, let me see if I can find the paper I use so that I explain this correctly to you guys so what you're going to want to do is open up notepad and you're going to want to create a file that's called and just ignore all this stuff right here okay just ignore all these this is where I was trying something but you are going to want to name a file my underscore custom underscore APN and you're going to want to save it as a text file so file you know save as and you're gonna you're gonna call this you know like I said you're my underscore you know whatever it was dot dot text dot txt you're gonna save it as that file name all right and what you're gonna do is you're gonna save it to the SD card that you took out of the camera when you when you click on it where you know to save as it's gonna come up and you just click it to the H drive or whatever it was that it came up all right so what you're gonna do after you get there is you're gonna want to go in here and let's just take all this out so. What you're going to want to do is, I've got a list of settings here. I found them online, but I'm going to sit here and let you read this for a minute. You're basically going to want to go through, and everything on this paper, you're going to want to put on this computer, other than the APN information at the top. 
but name and so the way that's going to work is you're going to type and um don't i don't know if it matters or don't matter um i i did go by the capital letters on the right side but on the bold letters i made everything lowercase because that's the way it was when i pulled up a file that somebody else had tried everything was lowercase so keep the left side lowercase but let's just kind of go through this together so what you're going to want to do is i'm going to save these on there because they were already on there but you're gonna, for instance, you're gonna wanna say name equals, and don't worry about putting a space in there. All right, capital F R E E D O M P O P. All right, that's what you're gonna wanna do right there. That's that's your name. The next thing is APN. You're gonna wanna do that. They got everything capitalized as reseller. Uh oh, but you wanna spell it right. So it's reseller. All right, you're gonna go down and proxy is gonna be your next one. P R O X Y equals, and you're gonna to to call it. Uh, just say not set N O T space, and you do put spaces in here. That was one question I didn't know what you did, but you do. Proxy equals not set. Next thing is going to be if anybody comes in here. I'm gonna quit talking because I don't want to sound like a fool, but um, I am gonna keep typing so you will know. But anyways, port equals same thing. It's going to be not set. N-O-T. S-E-T. And then the next thing that they have on this list is username. Uh-oh, I forgot. Don't capitalize. So we already have a user username right here. So it's a username is not set. Not set. Uh, password, not set. Not set. Uh, next thing that we have is server server equals not set I try to make videos on this crap whenever something blows my mind and I finally figure it out I'll try to make this easier for everybody else MMSC type in HTTP colon slash slash MMSC dot mobile dot ATT dot net Next line, MMS proxy. Maybe I'll save this in the uh, in the description of the video so you guys can just copy it and paste it. But uh, we're gonna say MMS proxy equals proxy dot mobile dot att dot net. So then you go MMS port equals eighty. M uh, MCC equals 310 MNC equals 410 say authentication type equals none oh I'm sorry it was capitalized N O N E and APN type equals a default and that's a capital D default comma MMS comma S U P L and then we're going to go down to APN protocol up oh, you see me capitalizing APN protocol and like I said I don't know if the capitalization matters or not but this worked for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it Oh, I put a space here and I wasn't supposed to. Don't put space after the equal. So APM protocol is IPv4. And then the last one is bearer. B-E-A-R-E-R -E -E equals unspecified. Alright, so then after you get all this done, like I said, you're going to make sure you go up here to file. And you're going to click save as. And you're going to click... Um, you're gonna click browse like right here you're gonna find your card that you pulled out and you're gonna save this as uh the uh my underscore custom uh oh custom underscore apn and you're gonna save it as a dot text file i'm just gonna save this to my desktop for now that way I have it there but uh, and then you're done so once you do that 
make sure you come down here and tell it to safely remove the device you don't want to corrupt anything pop that car back out stick it in your camera all right as soon as you put your battery back in your camera it's going to start saying you know it's looking for a network you don't want it to do that get you something like a i have a resistor but any kind of thing with a little sharp point but once you open this cover let me just take the back off for you hang on just a minute once you open this cover there's a reset button right there just push that button one time and then let it do its thing and you should have network connected there's your sim card that i was telling you have to pull out um once you do that everything should be good to go what i had to do was scan the qr code and it still did it, it worked even after it said network connected but i couldn't see the camera so then what you want to do is um get completely out of the rio link app remove that device if it tried to add it and then do it again and um uh, and everything worked perfectly fine so anyways long story short i hope that helps everybody out because it was kicking my butt and i can't stand when that happens and i can't stand when there's no support out there rio link didn't know what to say uh, you know uh, freedom pop said it was working on their end there's no problems but there you have it you should have a camera boom it should be working so hope this helps everybody out and uh, maybe i can make another video in the future and help you guys again all right take care